Greetings gamers, and welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green for the Game Boy Advance. As you can see by checking our trainer ID here, we have defeated Misty in the last episode and gained the Cascade Badge, the second of the eight badges. So now, we're officially finished with Cerulean City, so it's time to move on. However, there seems to be only one path out of here, and that's through this individual's house. The one that had been guarded by this police officer over here. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Yeah, their, their place was trash. These miserable Rockets. Look what they've done to my house. They stole a team for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sand True. That cost me a bundle it did. Man, that sucks to be you. <sighs> Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Yeah, you can say that again. Speaking of, there's a Team Rocket member right there. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Most innocent people don't start their conversation off by telling people to get out. I'm just saying. Alright, we got a Machop here. Ooh, Mikachu may not be the proper Pokemon to start with, but we're gonna have a go ahead and use Mega Punch here. Let's see how far Nik Mikachu can go. Ooh, he, he may just do it. We have Quick Attack still? No, we don't, but he should still be fast enough. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now we're going with Drowsy, a psychic type. Hmm. I think Pidgeotto will be alright. Alright, gonna use Gust. Ooh, don't you hit by my bird. Gust again. Boom! Down and out. Player defeated Rocket Front. Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly! Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Quick received TM28. I better get moving. Bye! Well, that was easy enough. Hey, look, let's be good citizens and see if we can't give this TM back to the owner. It's true owner. I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Oh, well, in that case, maybe we can go ahead and use that TM. Let's go ahead and see if we can't teach it to Mankey. Uh, what can we get rid of? I think, uh, low kick, maybe Fury Swipes. Fury Swipes suck. There we go. Just attach that CD to his face. And bam! He learned Dig. That works for me. Well, thank you, good sir. I appreciate the TM. I mean, I fought for it, so... I guess it's only fair that I get to, get to have it. Oh, something I should note. Not down here, not down here. We gotta go lower. If you pass through all these ledges, down here- ooh, hold up, I'll explain in a moment. If you pass all of these ledges, you'll find that there's a Pokemon ranch here, or rather, not so much a breeding house, but they raise your Pokemon for you. I run the daycare service. Would you like to raise one of your Pokemon? Now, I, I'll i raise my own Pokemon, but for Pokemon like Magikarp, if you wanted to drop them off here at the at the daycare, they hit level 20 in about, well, not no time, but I think it counts for as many steps as you take, how quickly they level. So if you run around for a while, you're going to get Magikarp up to Gyarados in no time that way. Which is something I might do, I haven't yet decided. But now we're just running under this underground path to get to the next town over. 
people often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. That's true. Very true. So now we're on Route 6. Route 6 to Vermilion City. Aw, oh, yeah. And we got some trainers over here. I want to switch Pikachu out for Pidgeotto. Because we got a bug catcher up here. And what's the best way to get rid of bugs? Birds, of course. Or fire. Yeah, you're in the wrong place for bugs, buddy. You want to head back to Viridian Forest. Level 16 Weedle? Really? That could be a Beedrill. What else you got? Another Weedle. This is just a set of three Weedles. Maybe there's a Kakuna in there. Oh god. Is it level 16 as well? Yep. Well, there go all your bugs. One hit KOs. This is why you should evolve your Pokemon, buddy. No, I'm not kidding. You really should. I mean, I get wanting to keep certain ones in their first form, but still, they get stronger when they evolve. Alright, let's see what these picnickers have. I mean, I wasn't trying to listen in on you, I was just trying to challenge you to a battle. Ricky, getting all overprotective with your Squirtle. This would have been a good opportunity for Nikachu, but I wasn't really sure what this picnic girl was going to have. Ooh, I still actually might bring out Nikachu. Give Pidgeotto and, and Nikachu some experience together. <laughs> your bubble ain't going to be very effective, buddy. Thundershock, on the other hand, is going to be super effective. There we go. There's a tiny part of me that almost wishes I had kept Quick Attack. Got rid of Thunder Wave instead. Ooh, there we go. Camper Ricky was defeated. No, you can't win. That against me. That ain't happening. Excuse me, but this is a private conversation. Well, jeez, I ain't trying to butt in on any conversation. I just want a battle. You get the experience and money. Why would I not want that? Alright, so let's go ahead and use Gust a few times on this rat. Ooh. Maybe you can finish it off with a quick attack. Bam. I think she has a Bulbasaur as well. Oh no, it's a Pikachu. Um, healing Geodude for this one. Partly why I added the Geodude to my party. To my team. Uh, let's go ahead and use Magnitude. Instead of a bit of an earthquake, shake things up. Ooh, Magnitude 9, that Pikachu's out. Sorry, Pika. But not sorry. Picnicker Nancy. Well, then don't fight me. Don't fight me if you hate losing, because you're gonna lose. Oh, there's another bug catcher. Do we have Pidgeot? Yep, Pidgeot is still up front. Let's go ahead and give it a potion real quick. Not that I fear it's gonna faint, but better safe than sorry. I've never seen you around. Are you good? I mean, yeah. Yeah, I pretty much am. Wouldn't say I'm fantastic, but 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 good, yeah, definitely. Alright, let's use Gust on his Butterfree. Finally, a bug catcher who actually evolves his Pokemon. Oh, freaking sleep powder. I think I have some awakening. So this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's check my bag. Yep, I got a couple. Wake Pidgeotto up. Hope it doesn't use it again. Oh, that's worse! Freaking worse. I'm gonna try Gust, though, and pray that he doesn't hit himself. 
Yeah, there we go. Down and out. Elijah. You think you are playing Frodo Baggins? I okay, we got two more picnickers. I swear somebody has a Bulbasaur over here. I could be wrong. Alright, well this ain't no game. This is real life. This is real life is a bell. See look you got a Pidgey and I got a Pidgeotto. Guess who's gonna win? Oh my god. That quick attack though. My Pidgeotto's strength ain't no joke. Pidgey. Alright, well I'm gonna switch to Nikachu. Zap these birds. Unless this last one is the bulb sword that I was thinking of. How cray would it be if it were a Pidgeotto? I mean a Pidgeot. <laughs> no, it's a Pidgey. Yeah, your birds ain't nothing to my Nikachu. Boom! Level 23! GG, Nikachu! No, things didn't work for you at all! You want to talk to me? I mean... I'd rather battle you, but if we have to have a conversation while we're fighting, then I guess sure. Oh no, his name is Jeff! <laughs> My name is Jeff! <laughs> Oh, Jeff. You can't handle what I bring to the table. Eradicate. Ooh, that one actually might prove to be an issue. But I think in Geodude could handle it. I mean, Charmeleon could sure for handle it. Could for sure handle it, but I, mm, I don't know about that hyper thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Geodude's defense is what we needed. Wow, that magnitude did nothing. Let's see if we can get a little stronger one. Level 5? That's a little better. Can we get a level 6? Yeah, you can use Tail Whip all day long. It's not really going to do much to my Geodude. Ooh, level 7. There we go. There's that KO. I am that you geo dude. This stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. No, no, you couldn't. No, you couldn't, Jeff. Alright, so there was no Bulbasaur. But now we have finally reached Vermilion City, the place where we can obtain our third badge and take a trip on the SSN. Well, sort of. It never really leaves Doc. But we get to visit it. Alright, so let's go ahead and swing by the Pokemon Center real quick and heal up our party, because they definitely need it. I mean, they're not too bad off, but still doesn't hurt to get them all fixed up when the opportunity presents itself. All right, thank you, Nurse Joy. Now, what we want to do is swing by this person's house on the left of the center here, and we run into a fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? I mean, it's okay. If Pokemon were real and I was going to go fishing for a Pokemon, I'd be all over that crap. Actual fishing can get kind of boring, but I guess it's not a bad time waster, if you want to call it that. I think we could be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Quake received the old rod, so now we can get some Magikarps. Fishing is a way of life. It's like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers, go out and land a big one, my friend. Well, thank you. I may just do that. I mean, I could do that right here. Let's see. Let's go into our backpack where we need our key items. Old Rod. Not even a nibble. Come on, Magikarp. Let's throw that one more time. It's more like I'm peeing. Oh, 
Oh, god dang it, no nibbles. Nibble on my rod, god dang it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nothing really? Four times the charm? We need to waste the third try, but let's see. Oh, there we go. Pokemon on the hook, that's what we wanted. Hello, Magikarp. Ooh, level five, huh? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try. It's just a Magikarp. Shouldn't be much of a fight. One. Really? Okay. Well, if that's the way you want to play it, I'm not gonna attack you. But I can certainly paralyze you. go. You're still just gonna splash away. The <laughs> most useless move in the history of the entire series because it absolutely does nothing. One, two, three, bam. There we go. Welcome to the team, Magikarp. In the distant past, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Aww, poor Magikarp. With time, it just got weaker. Poor little guy. Alright, so, now we want to swing by this little house over here. The Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans are welcome. There's a very unique item we're going to get to pick up here. You just have to sit through a bit of fanning. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It squeals cute when I hug it. Alrighty then. My Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. Is what one mine? I, I beg to differ. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to the... Did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? I mean, kind of. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping. Warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. The Bike Voucher! So now, we can actually head back to Cerulean City and get ourselves a bicycle. See? Free of charge. My favorite fear will blind me anywhere. I need to go. So, I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Uh, you're not gonna go on about your fear -oh? Our chairman is very vocal about Pokemon. Clearly! Clearly we noticed that. So, as you can see down here, we have the Pokemon Gym, but we can't quite get to it yet because there's a bush in our way. Rather a tree. Looks like it can't be cut down. Looks rather it can be. Um, this per particular person, I believe, offers a trade? There's somebody in here. I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. Interesting. I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I send my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail for me. Alrighty then. I guess there's not a trainer that wants to trade here. I seem to recall that being the case in earlier versions. Who knows? Maybe it was just... Maybe it's a Mandela effect. But let's go ahead and buy some more things. Maybe six more Pokeballs. A couple of Super Potions. Go ahead and top it off at 10. Still have five of those. Buy another one of these. Five of them. And whatever left, we'll save up for now. Not a bad little haul. Alright, so what I want to do before we proceed any further within Vermilion City is head all the way back to Cerulean so we can pick up our bicycle. We could do it later on, but I like to get that as soon as I get the voucher. And if we want to, we can actually put our Magikarp 
in the daycare before heading back to Vermilion. That long run. If I had an item finder, I'd actually go around and try to hit A a few times to get items on the ground. But I don't recall where any of them are off memory. Alright, there's Cerulean City. So let's just hop back right in here. Head to the left. And into the bike shop. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Here you go. Quick exchange the bike voucher for a bicycle. Come back again sometime. Well, I probably won't ever do that considering I have a bike now. Alright, let's go to our key items. Go ahead and take this to the top of the list and register it. So now whenever we hit select, we just hop on our little bike. Ain't it awesome? Alright, so I'm gonna heal up real quick, even though I probably don't need to. And since I can't remember if there's a daycare, a PC in a daycare, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly deposit Geodude. We'll get him right back anyway. So I'm not gonna bother adjusting the profile picks below. Uh, and grab a magic harp. And then on our way back to the daycare, we'll just pop the magic harp in there. Why not? I said I was gonna train most of my Pokemon on hand by myself, but for magic harp. I'll let the daycare handle it. Ooh, I almost ran right back into the city. Not something I want to do. One, two, three, four, five. And we stop on side. On inside. Oh, there is a PC. Okay. I run a daycare service. Would you like to raise one of your Pokemon? Yes. Magic heart, please. I will. I will come back in a while. Let's get Geodude back out. Okay, now back to Vermilion City we go. Only this time, we'll do it on our bike. As soon as we hit the underground tunnel. Underground path, rather. Hit that select button. And off we go. Look how fast we go. Oh yeah, that, that music will never get old. And we're almost back in Vermilion. Just a little ways to go. And... BAM! Alright gamers, so now that we've accomplished a little bit here, and had some... a little bit of insight into what Vermilion City can offer us, we'll call it wraps for this one. And in the next one, we're going to head straight on board to the SSAN and fight all of the trainers that happen to be on board for the huge party. So, until the next one, later gamers.